Welcome to DS Trucks. In this video, I want to talk about OEM tires and specifically Continental tires. The tires that you find on Fords and probably probably a lot of other brands, are they junk? Do they have traction? What uh, what have my experience been with the OEM Continental tires? Now I've got two trucks. I got an F450. It's got the commercial version of the Continental tires, and I've got an F250 with the a uh, little bit lighter duty version of the tires. Well, they're not uh, 19.5s or they're not a full commercial tire, but they do have some pretty good ratings. Uh, they can carry uh, a significant amount of weight, but these tires being continentals a lot of people have complained about their traction in the snow and different conditions but it's interesting guys i i've been able to get by with these tires with no issues particularly on the 250 now the 450 is still new to me and i've only had it out a couple of times in bad weather particularly snow in the rain i felt like the tires were good I haven't had any hydroplaning issues or anything like that, but in the snow, they seem similar to the light duty truck tires. You know, they seem very similar. Uh, now, there is not a whole lot of siping really, but there is uh, some lugginess to it. And I would imagine once they wear down a bit, it's not it's not going to be as good. There are some. Uh, some breaks in the weather and in, in the tread here where and i've actually seen some people actually take a groover and open these up a little bit to get better traction out of these but honestly are they the best do you want to hit a sheet of ice not really i mean not really they're not once you hit ice that can be an issue but typically it's been okay i know it was a little bit squirrely for acceleration and everything when it was like real slick but i had no issues plowing with these tires and now when i'm plowing there's a lot of weight on the truck and that helps with traction it helps them dig down they're kind of skinny for the weight then the 450 has a limited slip rear diff which helps quite a bit now with proper snow rated tires i think this truck could even plow well definitely could plow in two-wheel drive but with the way it's set up now, kind of needs to be in four wheel if it gets more than an inch. But with some weight in the salt spreader, even with the Continentals, you can put it in four wheel drive or two wheel drive and get by okay. But you know, it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, when you look on the forums, on Facebook, on Line, there's people really harping about tires. They're saying that they they just they're the worst tires in eight they might be but i can tell you what guys the worst if these are the worst tires then it ain't that bad they're not really they're not really all that bad uh there's there's always a compromise you know these are they're they're meant to kind of be highway tires i don't think they're meant to uh i don't know be on the truck forever you know as an oem i don't know if they're looking at putting the luggiest tires that they can put on the truck. Uh, I know my wife's F-150 got Hancock tires. Now, if you want to look at a bad tire, those those tires are horrible. The the Hancock tires that come on the F-150s, they have very poor uh, traction in, in the snow. And my F-150, thinking about all these trucks, if you follow the channel, you know I had a 3.5 EcoBoost before the 450. That thing was all over the place in the snow with the stock tires versus this with the continentals you know it's it's a lot better than that was but that tire was wider it didn't have a hole it didn't have a deep tread it was a really wide tire so that kind of explains why but you know this tire being as skinny as it is for the weight of the truck it's not bad guys it's not it's not bad now there are better options but this is definitely better than the 150s if you think a stock tire on a 150, this is going to be better, I think, with the weight of this vehicle and the amount of uh, traction these tires provide. Certainly better than the 150, but I, I think once you get into a F450, you have like this expectation of this vehicle that can go through anything and whatnot. But 
not really the case, you know, until you maybe put better tires. If there was enough snow on the ground, if there was like 10 inches of snow, that could be an issue for the truck. I don't know, but it might be. But with the plow on it and all the weight, it might just dig down and be okay. 10 inches of snow, 12 inches of snow, you're probably plowing snow with the wind deflector underneath the truck anyway. So, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. We haven't had that kind of snowfall in a long, long time. But, you know, these Continental tires, I was thinking about this because I was reading through comments and somebody was talking about how horrible the tires are. I've been able to get around in all conditions with the Continental tires without very much issue. Uh, if you look at the spare tire that's underneath the truck down here, you will see that when this tire is new, it's got some good tread, guys. It's got some good, some good siping, some decent tread. It's just the fact that, you know, these ones have been used for a while. They're still good, but they need to probably go ahead and at least be a new Continental tire these are worn you know so maybe i'll switch over to a duratec or a wild peak or something for this truck but maybe i'll just turn around and take down this spare make that a tire and get three more i don't know but it is a tragedy to waste that spare tire down there just a tire just sits under the truck you know maybe we should just go ahead and i don't know put i don't know it seems like a waste to leave a tire under the truck like that but Anyway, guys, are the Continental tires junk? I think they're a good compromise. If you're going to be driving for a long distance, these tires are great. I think they're a good compromise uh, with the heavy-duty F450. They were a little bit, uh, took a little bit of getting used to at first with the commercial tires. They weren't quite as smooth, but they seem to be smoothing out, getting better over time, over some highway miles. They seem to be getting better. We did a rotation. They seemed squishy a little bit at first, but they've uh, seemed to have broken in. And I know a lot of people talking about when these commercial tires are new, they go through a little bit of a break in period. So at 3000 miles, they just seem to be getting better and better. And I don't know if it's just me getting used to it or if it just is getting better and better. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. The commercial tires have been pretty good for me. I know there's better, but they've been pretty good for me. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching DS Trucks. My name is Sean. Subscribe if you like heavy-duty truck content. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.